Hello, everybody. My name is Prentice Boxdale, and I hope that you have you enjoying this YouTube channel. Will you please hit the subscribe and like button? And y'all, we're going to have a hallelujah good time, but we got many more to come. And let's have a good time together. Well, I know that in the shadow of the wing, that is red, sweet red, that is red for care and labor, that is red for friend and neighbor, in the shadow of the Lord, we pray for all of our newcomers here at the Church of Christ at Eastside, that as we get ready to study with them and try to help them to become to be strong in the faith, Lord, we pray for them that they will become to be soldiers in your army, that they will learn how to study your word, and that they might be able to come to be soldiers, strong, brave, and true, and always abide in our works of truth. Well, Lord, we pray for just not only the newcomer here at the Church of Christ at Eastside, but we pray for all the newcomers throughout this world that are in the Church of Christ, that they will learn the joy in studying your word. Lord, we pray for those that may be listening to this lesson at this time. We pray that we might touch somebody's heart somewhere, that they might come out of sin and obey your word before your everlasting and eternity too late. Lord, we pray that as we study the lesson, lost sheep, that we'll do something that will cause our new baby to come back home unto the faith before everlasting and eternity too late. Lord, we pray for all the endeavor and work that the Church of Christ is set out to do, that as we go to and forth, trying to compel the world to come into your house before it's too late. Now, Lord, when it's all said and done, when we have ran our last mile and when we have said our last prayer, let us become to be like this tree that planted by the rivers of water, that when all the waves and the storm come like wave, that we'll be able to stand in due season. And this is our prayer in Christ Jesus, mercy, everlasting, glorious name. Amen. Again, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule for us to have this discussion together. And y'all come on, we're going to have a good time in studying the word of the Lord at this time. So please, newborn baby, we're asking you to come on and get your notepads, get your puzzle, get your Bible and stuff ready. Because we're getting ready to have a discussion in God's word. We're going to talk about the lost sheep. Yes, we're going to have a discussion in talking about the lost sheep. Yes, in the Lord Church today, newborn faith, we have a lot of lost babes in the faith that they have become lost because they have failed to study the word of the Lord. Yes, we have many lost sheep in the faith today. Lost sheep. And now before we get ready to, to deal with this lost sheep, and let me say to the, to the newcomer that that we are trying to do all that we can do to help you to become strong in the word of the Lord. We're trying to do all that we can do to help you to grow in the faith. Yes, we want you to know that you are a new creature in Christ. You are this new creature in Christ. Because the Bible tells us over here in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes, sir! You is a brand new creature in the Lord house. And if you put your confidence in the Lord, the Lord will open up the windows of heaven, and he will pour you out a blessing. Yes, you born baby. We're going to try to do all that we can do to help you to stay in the word of the Lord. Yes, you born baby. You are the one that heard the word. You are the one that believed in the word. Yes, you were willing to repent of your sin. You confess Christ, and you put him on in the water of grave of baptism. Praise God. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ for you, because you are the one that heard the word of the Lord. Yes, you are the one that, that heard the word of the Lord. 
and newborn baby, uh, uh, I need to eraser, uh, newborn baby. So as we get ready to, to, to have this discussion in God's word and, uh, and, 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 and have this study in the word of the Lord, and we're going to, and after, <laughs> yeah, we have a good time right here, didn't let me go. Okay, but, but as we get ready to have this discussion in the word of the Lord, and yes, sir, we get ready. Yes, sir. We get ready? We're getting ready. And I want you to get excited because you are this new creature in Christ. You are this new creature in Christ. Yes, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes, you are this new creature in Christ. Because you, like I said, you heard the words. You believe the words. You repent. You confess. You put Christ on the water grave of baptism. Thank God. Praise God for you. And y'all come on. We got to get ready to deal with the word of the Lord tonight because we got some long babes in the faith already. And we got some long sheep. They have came into the body of Christ. They heard the word. They believed. They repented. They confessed. They went down into the water of baby baptism and had their sin washed away, but they turned their back on the Lord. Why? Why? Why did they turn their back on the Lord? Because newborn baby, as you listen to the introduction that we gave you when you first listened to this, this, uh, this, this, this tape, when we first gave you the introduction, we talked about 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 2, 15. There the Bible told us to study, to show ourselves approved and working under God that need not to be ashamed. So new boy, babe, come on now and pick up your Bible and study the word of God so that you can be able to become strong in the faith. Now new boy, babe, if you fail to study the word of the Lord, you're going to fail to take the M-I-L-K. You're going to fail to take the milk. And when you fail to take the milk, you're going to miss out the sweet honey that is in the word of the Lord. So y'all got to come on and study the word of the Lord. Now, I'm going to get Brother Barry. Now, Brother Barry is going to help me because we are the teacher of the new convert class. And I'm going to get Brother Barry to turn over there to Psalm 119. In Psalms 118, and we're going to look at verse number 103 because we're getting ready to talk about this lost sheep that in the Lord church. Yes, we got a lot of our newborn babe that is failing to come to the assembly, and they don't know the importance of coming to the assembly. Brother Barry, go ahead and read Psalms 119 and verse number 103. That's Psalm. Y'all new boy, baby, you better open your Bible up over here in the book. Of, that's the Old Testament now. That's the book of Psalm 119 and verse number 103. Come on, Brother Barry, read. How sweet. Now, this is what the word says. It says, how sweet. Come on, what is it? Are thy words. He says, how sweet are thy words. So newborn baby, you got to taste the word of God. Come on, read what else it say. Unto my taste. It said unto my taste. So we got to taste the word of the Lord. So newborn baby, if you fail to taste the word of the Lord, you're not going to know how good and how sweet God's word really is. So we're going to do all that we can to help you all to become and be strong in the Lord church. Now, turn over there to the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse number Romans 6. We're going over here, New Testament. Excuse me. Go over here with the New Testament. Romans. Y'all come on, open your Bible here, the book of Romans. Come on now. Now, if you're looking, 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 looking at this text, or uh, uh, looking at this lesson, now, we're not doing this lesson just to be doing something. Now, when we give you scripture, we are asking you to put it on pause and get there to your scriptures, okay? We're going to the book of Romans. Okay, we're going to Romans chapter 6, and we're going to look at verse number 3 and verse number 4. Now, what are we doing now? Let me explain to you what we're doing now. We're trying to let you know that you are the one that have obeyed the word of the Lord. Yes, you are that one, that new creature in Christ. So this is what we're doing now. We're letting you know that you are this new creature in Christ. Yes, you taste the honey when you finally heard the word of the Lord. Yes, you taste the honey when you believed in the word of the Lord. Yes, you taste the honey when you heard, believed, and when you were willing to repent of your sin. Yes, I'm ready to turn away from my sin. Yes, 
are ready to obey Christ the right, the, the right way. You heard the word, you believe, you repent, yes! And you saw the important that you ready to confess the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we thank the Lord Jesus Christ for each one of you. You heard the word, you believe the word, you repent of your sin, and you are willing to confess that Jesus is the Christ, that he is the Son of the living God. And not only did you do this, but you went down into the water grave with baptism. Now, how do we know this? All right, Brother Barry, come over here. I know you're over there. You're over there, Roman. Roman, Roman chapter 6. I know what it said. But I want y'all to hear Brother Barry read that. <laughs> He's here to help you out with this lesson. Because we're concerned about your newborn babies in the faith. All right, Brother Barry, now go ahead and start reading. Romans 6 and verse 3 and 4. Read. No, ye not. Now, look what the Bible says. It says, no, ye not. Newborn, no, ye not. Come on, read. That so many of us. That so many of us. You're up here today. You all that listen to this lesson. So many of us here today. Read, brother. As we're baptized. As we're baptized. Remember we said you heard the word. You believe the word. You repent of this sin. You confess Christ. And you got baptized. Hold it right there, brother Barry. Okay, now. Now, now. Now, I want y'all to say this with me, newborn baby. Come on, let's pause here now. We can get excited in this class. We get excited in this class, but it's going to be important that you need to understand about the hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. Okay, come on. Let's do this together. Come on. Let's everybody do it together. Come on. Because we got to get into this lesson about the lost sheep. But the first thing we got to do is, is, is get you back on this foundation. We got to get you back on the foundation first. So when we start talking about this lost sheep, uh, F-O-N-U-D-A-L-T-I-O-N. Oh, well, that's close enough. That's what I mean. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Now, all right. You heard the word. You believe. You repent. You confess. And you got baptized. Come on. Yeah, come on. Say it with me. We're going to do it three times together. Now, are you ready? Come on. Number one, I heard the word. Come on. I, I heard, heard the word. word. Come on. Number two, what did you do? Number two, I believe the word. Come on. I believe, I believe the word. word. Come on. And number three, what did you do? I repent of my sin. Come on. I, I repent of, of my sin. sin. All right. And number 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 four, what did you do? I come who? I confess. Oh, wait a minute. I come who? I come confess. On, Barry, let them say it now. I I did what? Come. What did you say? Okay, I confess Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Ain't that right? Then, as you confess, then what did you do? Come on, tell me what you do, new boy, baby. Now, if y'all listen to this lesson in, in your house, you better be hard now, now. I got baptized. I got the see, brother, baby, you got to let them say it. <laughs> see, we have we, 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 we talk about this in the, in, the, uh, 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 in the Bible class. Come on now. Come on, let's do it all together now. Everybody do it together now. I heard the word. Come on. I heard the word. Come on, do it with me. I heard the word. I believe. I repented of my sin. I confess Christ. And I put him on the water and grave of baptism. Now, why did you do this? All right, Bill Berry. You didn't go that wrong. Come on, start reading now. Know ye not. The Bible says to know ye not. That so many of us. So many of us. As were baptized. As were baptized well. Into Jesus into Christ. Jesus Christ. You were baptized in. I in. To. Jesus. J-E-U-S-E. -E, Jesus. C-H-R-I-S-T. You were baptized into Jesus Christ. That's why we're praising God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ for you. Come on, brother, man. Read some more of that. We're baptized uh -huh. into his death. We were baptized into his death. Come on, now, read. Therefore, we Therefore, are... we were what? We are buried... We were what? We are buried... We are what? We are buried... We are buried where? With him... With him in... What? By baptism. We are buried with him by baptism. So that's the reason why we're praising God for you. Because you heard the word and you went into the water like the Lord have instructed us to do. And what else? Read. Okay. That, uh, okay. No, you're not. There's so many of us as we're baptized into Jesus Christ. We were baptized well and to the devil. Then the Bible said, like our Jesus Christ. We're raising up from the dead. Even so, we should do what, Brother Barry? 
Walk in real so, life. Well, y'all don't hear me. I know I'm from. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. We are all supposed to walk in a newness. A newness of life. L-I-L-E. Okay? A newness of life. Ain't that what the Bible says? Okay. That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm having a good time already. And get ready to go, bro. Y'all ain't even get me in the knee, brother, baby. Try to do something to help y'all get excited. He's on that smiling, but he, he got to y'all. Okay, all right, here we go. So, now we said that, know you not that so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ, we were baptized into his death, and like that Jesus Christ was raised up from the dead, we all chose to walk well in the new life. Life. So, new life. So, newborn baby, come on, let's get ready. Let's get ready, let's get ready to walk in this new way of life. And like I said, we're going to try to do all we can do to help you to grow and to become strong in the Lord's house. Okay, now. All right. Now, see, what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to get you back to where we need to be at. Okay? You're a new creature in Christ. You done heard the word. You done believed. You done went down into the water vein of baptism. Yes, and as a newborn babe, you have to take the milk, the sweet honey. You got to taste the honey and how sweet it is. Now, now before I go on, let me tell you a little story. Let me tell you a story. And I want you all, newborn babe, to listen very carefully. There was a young man one day, he heard the word just like you. He heard the word. He believed just like you. Yes, he was willing to repent of his sin. He confessed Christ, and he put him on in the water grave of baptism just like you. And he started to come into the assembly of the Lord, just like some of you. Oh, he was excited when he went down into the water grave of baptism and had his sin. Oh, he was so excited. He didn't know what to do. Oh, he visited the first assembly of the Lord. He came to the first assembly of the Lord with a great smile on his face. He attended his first Bible class. He attended his first Bible class. But let me tell you what happened. As he came into the first Bible class, he heard the word, come on, newborn babe, you need to S-T-U-D-Y. Come on, newborn babe, and study the word of the Lord. He was so excited that he knew that he wanted to study the word of the Lord. But after he left church, As he left church and went home, it go with me. As he went home, the devil got a hold of him. See, newborn babe, that's why here in the new convert class, we're trying to instruct and instill into each one of you to look out for something, to look out for that sifter that was stated in Luke. like it's stated in Luke 22, verse 31 and 32. He failed to study the word. And when he failed to study the word and keep that excitement that he found of the Lord, so when he left and went home, that old devil was waiting on him. And he came home with great joy on his face and said, Oh, I'm a member of the Church of Christ. Yeah, I am a member of the Church of Christ because I heard the word. Yes, I believe the word. I repent of my sin. I confess Christ. I put him on the water. Oh, praise God. But he was so excited when he got home. But when he got when he got when he left the church and got home, the devil was waiting on him in the home because he wanted to put him in that old system. And when he got home, his mother told him, to, Boy, don't you go back over there no more. Them folks don't know what they're talking about. Because
because he wasn't strong in the faith yet, and he didn't understand, that old devil put him into a sister. So what I'm saying to you, newborn babe, the devil gonna get you into a sister. And all the good things you learn of the Lord, he's gonna put it out on you. Now, this is what brings us down to our lesson tonight. Yes, sir, tonight and day. However you listen to this lesson, this is what brings us down to our lesson. Where we had now, the law of sheep. And in the Lord church today, newborn babe, you will become lost sheep if you fail to study the word of the Lord. Yes, you will become lost like this young man that heard the word and he believed the word and he repented of his sin and he confessed Christ. He put him all in the water and gave the baptism just like us. But he failed to study the word of the Lord. He failed to taste the honey of the word of the Lord. And I'm concerned about the newborn babe that when you fail to study the word of God, when you fail to taste the sweet milk of Jesus, you cannot grow in faith. So as newborn babe, only thing that we're trying to do is get you to desire the word of the Lord. Now, if y'all don't mind, we're going to look at the Old Testament. We're going back to the Old Testament. So, See, when, see, when we're teaching the newborn babe, we got to let them know whether we're going to the Old Testament and the New Testament because we understand that some of you is not used to using your Bible. Let me say that again. We understand when you come into the New Cumber class, when you come into the New Cumber class, some of you have never picked the Bible up in your life. Some of you have never been able to turn the scripture to, to, uh, uh, to, to the Bible. Some of you ain't never did that, but now, we're going to take our time and we're going to try to help each one of you grow in the faith. Yes. What is our lesson about tonight? Lost sheep. Our lost sheep in the faith. And you go babe. Our prayer is that we don't want anybody in the faith to become lost sheep in the faith. Now here in the book of Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, that's E-Z-E-K-I-E-L, Ezekiel, chapter 34. And let's look at verse number five, if you don't mind. The Bible says here, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they become meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Newborn men, if you fail to study the word of the Lord, if you fail to study the word of the Lord, you will become a lost sheep, and not only that, but you will become the beast of the, of the world in the field. They will rip you to smithereen. Why? Because you had taste the milk yet. You haven't, you haven't desired the word of the Lord yet. You haven't tasted the milk. And by you not having tasted the milk, you had not desired the word of God. Now, that's why we want to look at this lost sheep. The Bible says here, let's look at this one more time. It says, and they were scattered. If you don't study the word of the Lord, you're going to be scattered. You're going to leave the faith. You're going to leave the church. You're going to turn back into your own way. The Bible says, and they were scattered. Not only, now look what it says. Because there is no shepherd. And they become me to the beast of the field. That's the reason why it's so important that me and Brother Barry, as we teach in this new convert class, we have a responsibility by the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to try to lead you in the right pathway of the word of the Lord. That's why we tell you to do what? John. St. John, 17, 17, 
around us. Jesus said to sanctify them through thy truth, thou word of truth. And then Jesus said in John again, five thirty-nine. Jesus told us over in John five thirty-nine. He said for us to search the Scripture. For in them that you think you have eternal life, in day of day that which justify me. That's why in trying to be a good shepherd for the Lord, we're trying to instill it to each one of you newborn babies. Look out for the sister, because if you don't, you're going to become this lost sheep in the faith. You're going to become this lost sheep in the faith. Now, not only that, but we're trying to instill it to you to the Bible says to sanctify them through our truth, thou word of truth. Such the scripture for them that you think you have eternal life. Now come on, let's get back to Ezekiel again. Then look at verse number six. Now look what it says. Now sheep wander through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock will scatter upon all the face of the earth. And none did such a seek after them. That's why. You poor baby. That's why you and me, brother, never talk the way we're talking to you now. Because we don't want you to become weak. I put B in there. <laughs> Come on now. Because we don't want you to become meat to the beast of the field. We don't want you to become meat to the beast of the field. Because when you come to, to be meat for the beast of the field, they go. Rip you to Paul. All the good things that you learn about the Lord and say with Jesus Christ, they're going to pull it all out of so as a trying to be a good shepherd for the Lord. And we're trying to keep all the newborn babies in the faith. We're begging you to study the word. We're begging you to taste the honey. We're begging you to desire the word of the Lord. Why? Because we are this new creature in Christ. If you fail to study the word, if you fail to taste the honey, if you fail to desire the word of the Lord, you're going to become this lost sheep in the faith. You're going to become this lost sheep. And then, when you become this lost sheep in the faith, then, then, Brother John, then, me, me, me and Brother John, <laughs> well, me and Brother Barry job again, then. What you mean, y'all job again? Then, we got to start searching for you. Where are you? We got to start searching for you. Mary, John, Sally, Susan, Bill, Smith, Ralph, Bobby, Mama, Daddy, Brother, Sister, Uncle, Cub. We don't want anybody. Where you at? You have become a lost sheep in the faith because you fail to S T U B Y. Now, our job begins because let's look at this one more time. My, verse number six. My sheep wander through all the mountain. You are wandering in the mountain. And y'all let me tell you this. My heart is touched and I am concerned about how a newborn baby. Just the other day, I talked to a newborn baby. They came to Bible class right here at the east side, Church of Christ. Oh, yes! They went down into the water grave of baptism right here at the east side congregation. And let me tell you, oh, they came to the Bible class. They came to two new convert class. And when they got there, they were so excited. Boy, they were burning over with great joy. But during the week, they had trouble life. Lord have mercy. They had family members who were sick, and they had to continue to go out of town to visit their family members. And every time we called and said, come on, let us, come on, the Bible, come on, study. Well, I, I'll be there, but I got to go to my mama's house this coming Sunday. We got to go take care of her. We 
got things we got to do over young them. It was hard to get them to come back out to the Bible class. And just the other day, just the other day, I picked the phone up and I called the sister. You know, I'm telling my name, newborn in the faith, a new baby. And let me say this. See, this is a new, this is a new way. This is a new way, y'all. This is a new way of life. And this new way of life, y'all, let me tell you, we had never traveled this road before. This new way of life. I'm trying to learn how to travel this new way of life. And I'm pretty sure when, when Brother Barry talked to you, he's going to tell you, he's trying to learn to walk this new way of life because the Bible tells us that we've got to live faithful on the town. So this new boy, babe, I called her and by her not to sorry in the word of God, by her not tasting the honey, That devil must knew that she wanted to become strong, S-T-R-O-N-G. She must wanted to become strong in the faith. She must wanted to become strong in the faith. Yes, her mind was made up that she was ready to do what the Lord would have her to do. But because the trouble down here in life couldn't find time for Bible class. Couldn't find time to study the word of the Lord. And let me tell you how deep de deceitful that devil is. So newborn baby, why am I talking like this? Because I don't want none of you to become to be lost in the faith. I don't want none of you to lose your sense of direction in doing what the Lord would have you to do. Then when I talked to her, she said, I'm, she said, I'm studying. I'm studying now. With the G, hold on, witness. New boy, baby, let that sink in. I'm now studying with the G, hold on, witness. Let me say that one more time. 
new company. That's why we here. Now, it's a move here in Ezekiel, and we just don't have time to finish off, but just let me read this verse number six one more time. It said, my people wander through all the mountains, and upon every high hill, yay, my flock will scatter up on all the face of earth, and not did such a seek after them. That's why this lesson on this film is so important, because we want you to know we are searching for you. We are looking for our lost babes in the faith. We are searching for you. Come on back to the Lord's house. Come on back and give the Lord a true chance by tasting his word. Look what it says in verse number seven. It said, therefore, you shepherd, hear the words of the Lord. You see, if me and Brother Barry failed to hear the words of the Lord, Brother Barry, read verse number eight for us. Tell us what it says there, verse number eight. Now, the Lord said, therefore, and so, wait a minute, hold it. The Lord said in verse 7, he said, therefore, ye shepherd, hear the words of the Lord. Read, Brother Mary. As I live. Now, the Lord says, as I live. Say if the Lord said, God. Now, let's let you know that this is not Brother Bob still. This is not Brother Mary, but this is the Lord. He said, as I live, says the Lord. God, read those babies. Surely, because my flock you became said, surely, prey. Surely, 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 because my flock become what? A prey. Have become a prey to what? And my flock became meat. And my flock became meat. Come on. To every beast. To every beast of the field. Let me tell you something, newborn baby. I want to get you fired up. That you come on back to the Lord's house, that you'll come on back to the Church of Christ, and you'll come on back and pick your Bible up and start spreading the word of the Lord. He said, My flock have become to all the beasts of the field. Tell me, Brother Boston, who are these beasts of the field? We got the Baptists, they are one. I said, We got the Baptists, and they are one of the beasts of the field. Who else is the beast? We got them old Jehovah's women out there. They are the beast of the field. Y'all let me tell you. We got the Presbyterian out there. They are the beast of the field. Who else? We got the Mormon. They are the beast of the field. Oh, we got the true the church of your choice. They are the beast of the field. And the Lord said, my flock have become prey. To the beast of the field. What do you mean, Lord, that they become beast of the field? Because they are turning, T R U N, their T H E R E, back, B A C K, on the Lord. They are turning their back on the Lord because these beasts of the field trying to tell them, you ain't got to go over there. You ain't got to listen to that junk over there. And let me tell you, the beast of the field is the Roman Catholic Church. The beast of the field is the modern day Sikh Church. The beast of the field is the church, the church of Christ in God. They are the beast of the field. The beast of the field is the church of Christ. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. When they call them the church of Christ, scientists, they are the beast. My Bible says, add not unto the word that was written in the book of life. If we add these things to God's word, God's going to add unto us the plagues that are written in the book of life. So God, come on. We, we got to get ready to wrap this lesson up. But these are the beasts of the field. Come on. Let's look at verse number seven one more time. We'll get ready to close out. Come on. Come on. Read verse number seven from I mean, number 18. Come on, brother, baby. As I live. Now, Lord, I said, as I live. Read. Say if the Lord God. Say if the Lord God be. Surely. Be, surely. Surely be. Because my flock. Because my flock. Became a prey. Became a prey. And, and be, be, come on. And my flock. And my be, flock become what? Meat. Meat to the beast of the field. My flock have become meat to the beast of the field. Read. 
because there was no shepherd. Well, no shepherd. Come on. Neither did my shepherd. Neither did my shepherd. What? Search for my flock. My flock. Lord, have mercy, y'all. That's why we are searching for you right now. Because we know the Bible says you have become beat, meat to the beast of the field. We are begging you right now, new convert, to come on back to the Lord's house. Come on back to the Lord's house and learn on the Lord's way. Come on back to the church of Christ and learn on the Lord's way. Come on back to the church of Christ and taste the honey, taste the milk. Taste how good God's word is. Say within yourself, I need to study. I need to study. Lord, it is me. I am the one that needs the M I L K. Yes, Lord, I am the one that needs the milk. Oh, Lord, I know now that I am a new preacher in Christ. Yes, Lord, help me, Lord, to desire the sense of milk. Of the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord, let me remember the Psalm 119 and 3. Number 103 told me that I need to taste. I need to taste the honey and see how good God works. I need to desire. I need to honey, Lord. Lord, help me to taste the honey and bring it in a message to a close. Brother Barry, go back over there to the book of Psalms. The Psalms 119 and verse. <coughs> Let me tell you what the Bible got you. It got something you want to tell you over here, you dumb baby. Yes, as we get ready, as we get ready to bring this lesson to a close, y'all we having a good time and studying the word of the Lord. All right, Brother Barry, go ahead and read for Thy word. Now, hold it, 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 hold it. You dumb baby. Open your Bible again now. But we don't want you to take a word we say. Brother Barry will rest tonight like a chess cat. He's so happy for you. He's so happy that we are getting together trying to do what we can do to let you know how we are, how happy we are for you. But over here, Psalms 119 and 105. Y'all make sure you open your Bible there. Now let me tell you something there before we read this. If we move it too fast in this lesson, that's when you can find this tape so important. You can cut it off, find the scripture. If you don't understand something, you can rewind it back as many times you want to. Somebody said, well, brother, brother, when y'all come over here with Bible class? We had them with you right now. <laughs> yes, sir. God's got to wait for me to love stuff. So look what I Come on, get the Bible open up over here the Psalm, chapter 118 and verse 105. Come on, brother, baby, read. See, you got a problem. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead, Brother Barry. Thy word is. Now, now look what he said. He said, Thy word. Is, so, so, so once you taste the honey, then he said, Thy word. Come on, what did he say? Is a lamb. Then he said, Thy word is a lamp. Read. Unto my feet. A lamp unto my feet. And what else? And a light. L I G H T. Is a light. It's going to be a lamp. And this lamp is going to be this light that's going to shine. So newborn baby, the only way your light is going to shine, you got to do S-T-U-D-Y. You got to study the word. And in your study the word, your desire is going to go stronger in the word of God. S-T-O-R-O-N-G. Yo, your desire is going to become stronger in the word of God. Why? Because you're going to be one that's going to taste the him. I okay, one well, slow we can follow the name of y'all. No, they did not have fun with that now. Okay, now your, your your desire will become stronger and desiring the milk of the word of the Lord. Now, he said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. So new born baby. The only thing that we're trying to say right now, that we don't want you to become to be a lost sheep in the faith. We want you to become to be strong in the Lord's house and desiring the word of the Lord. Brother Barry, put that on pause real quick. Yes, sir. As we said, in this one, babe, we're trying to do all that we can do to help you to become strong in the Lord's house. Yes, and if you are a lost sheep, we're begging you to come on back to the Lord's house and get your sin clean. Come back and repent. Say, Lord. 
I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry for what I've done. And Lord, please forgive me of the wrong that I've done. Lord, just let me come back into your house, Lord. Lord, I'm sorry that I turned my back on you, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. But Lord, will you please, will you please forgive me, Lord? Will you please forgive me, Lord, of the wrong that I have done? Yes, sir. Turn it up, brother. Yes, sir. Y'all listen up now. This is your invitation. Yes, sir. You're going to be. We are begging you right now to come on back to the Lord. Yes. This may be the last time that we have together. And we don't want none of you to become to be lost, based in the faith. Yes, sir. That's why we said, come on and take the word of God and yes, and study the word of God. Yes, this is your invitation. And we want to know that if you have listened to the lesson, not a member of the church of choir, this is your invitation too. You have heard the words. Do you believe? Yes! Are you willing to repent of your sin and confess Christ and put them all in the royal grave in the church of Christ? It's the only church that you can be saved in. Y'all go ahead and sing this song, brother. I want to know, do you want to be a Christian? Do you want to be a Christian tonight? Come on to the Lord. Yes, come on to the Lord. Yes, come on to the Lord and learn how to walk this new way of life. Confess Christ and put them on the wall of greater baptism. The Bible tells us over here in the book of Acts. I want to be a good old Christian. Acts 2:38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. We all come on. Yes. I just want to be a Christian tonight. And I want to be like my Jesus. Go ahead and sing a song, Brother Bush. Yes, sir. I just want to be this Christian. This is your invitation. Yo, if you're ready, you know this is the lesson. And you say, what, what do I need to do to be a Christian? Come on and get be, be baptized. Yes, come on. We're here at the Church of Christ at Eastside, 901 Bill Brook Lane. In my page number, if you're ready to put Christ on in the water grave baptism, my page number is 201. 3414. Or 1434. Just give me a page, and I guarantee you, we will come someone in the Lord Church here at the east side. We'll come and get you and baptize you dead because baptism is what to put you in the choir. Yes! This is your invitation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? I want to be. Do you want to be a Christian? Do you want to be like Jesus? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes. And if you want to be this Christian, tell me. Tell me, my brother. Why don't you right now just come on. Come on now. They don't pay the Lord. So excited. You don't know how excited I am to be a member of the Church of Christ. Yes, I am a brother in the Church of Christ, and 
We in the Church of Christ, I mean, we get excited when we get ready to give men, women, boys, girls, wherever you may be, the plan of salvation. Now, I'm just going to give you the plan of salvation, and I'm just going to tell you about the plan of salvation, but when you see in this uh, 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 plan of salvation being shown, you're going to see the scriptures and everything going to tell you about the plan of salvation. Let you know what we said in the Church of Christ. We'll tell you what the Bible said. Because the Bible says, speak out this Bible, speak and be silent. Hallelujah. What the Bible said. So the only thing we can do, hallelujah, is give you the plan of salvation. And see, I get excited about the plan of salvation because this is the only way that you can be a Christian. What you got to do? See, Jesus, uh, 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 teach us that we got to hear his word. You got to hear the word. You got to hear the word. Not in the word, but you got to hear the word that comes from the book, the Bible. Because Jesus says, sanctify them through our truth, the word of truth. So you got to look into the book and find the house in the book. And Jesus said, uh, 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 and once we sanctify you through our truth, then he tells us to search, search the scripture. Oh, we got this Bible. We, we're in the church right. We don't have nothing else. Take the Bible away from us, we lost. So hallelujah. Thank you, God, for this Bible. So anyway, you got to hear the word. Once you hear it, you got to believe what you hear. See, you hear a lot of things in this world. But when we come to the Lord Church, you're going to learn about what to hear what's in the scripture. I don't want you to hear what I say because I can lie to you. We want you to hear what the scripture says. Because remember, Jesus ain't fighting through our truth. Thy word is true. In Psalms 119 and verse 130, I believe it says that the influence of thy word give it life. It gives understanding unto the simple. See, the word of God is simple. You can understand it once you open up and read it. So you ain't got to take all this stuff for people saying in the pulpit. You got to read the Bible for yourself. So number one, I got to hear the word. And then, if you're looking at this, I want you to say this with me. I'm going to give it to you, and I want you to say it with me. What, what I got to do? Number one, I got to hear the word. That's number one. Number two, what I got to do? I got to believe in the word. Believe. Okay, after I believe, what I'm going to uh, believe, whatever the Bible said. After I believe, then what I got to do? I got to repent. So, why do I need to repent? Because Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 16, 24, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. So you got to be willing to give up whatever organization you in. If it's not found in the Bible, you got to be willing to give it up. Because Jesus said, if any man will come after me, first let him deny himself. So you're the one that I ain't got to give it up because I'm already a member of the church. But if you're not a member of the church, you're the one that got to give it up. Because it's sanctified first, sanctified them through our truth. The image of thy word give life unto the simple, then we get it by searching the scripture. And let that word of God be true. Sanctify them to thy truth, thy word is true. So remember, all we got in church of Christ is word. So you hear, believe, repent, then guess what? The most important thing that one can ever do on this earth is to confess. Hallelujah. It's going to, I'm going to show that in the call. You got to confess. Think about how good God has been to you. He died on the cross of Calvary to save you from your sin. He died to save me from my sin. And Jesus said in John 14, 6, since he did this for us, he said, no man come up to the Father but by me. So when you come to Christ, you uh, uh, repent. You turn away from your wrongdoing, then you confess his holy name. What is confession? Meaning, except I believe in the Son of God. You're going to give up there all other ways of man. You heard, you believe what the scripture says, you repent. It would mean you're going to turn, you're going to make a roundabout, you're going to turn away from the things that you've been taught. See, when you come to Christ, you got to start all over because you will be a newborn babe in the faith. You start all over. I love to get into the plan of salvation because it gives us time to settle down and really see what that does say the Lord. And, and, and before I go on, if you're interested in learning about the Church of Christ, get into the Church, uh, church of Christ in your area. The preachers and the elders and the deacon will come and sit down and have a class with you. Oh, uh, one of the faithful members that understand the scripture will come and sit down with you and we'll be glad to have a hallelujah good time with you showing you what does say the Lord. But remember, when we come, you got to get your feeling in, in motion out of the way. Why? Because Jesus said, 
let a man that, that deny himself and take up his cross and follow him. Because when we're dealing in God's word, there's going to be some things you like and some things you ain't going to like. Well, that's just part of the way God set it up. So he means bitter. So you hear, believe, repent, confess. Then you go down there into the water. You go down into the water. Get your sin washed away. Galatians 3, 20, 7 says, As many of you as have been baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, man, you can put Christ on. Oh, oh, oh. I, just, I just get so upset. You can put Christ on in baptism in the water. That's the only way that you can be in Christ. Jesus told Jesus told a nigga do. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into his kingdom. So if you don't come out of water, oh, I can long got to keep my voice down here because we, we got a class going on in and, 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 and I'm trying to get myself calm down, but this plan of salvation, y'all, is so great. It can save one from their sin. It can put you in the kingdom of God. The church, they're going to take us from earth one day on, on the glory. Oh, what, what hallelujah day that will be. But now when you come into the church, have you heard, believe, repent, confess, and you get baptized. And now that's not our, that just gets you into the church. Let me tell you, that just gets you into the body. See, a lot of folks, they do this, and they go down in the water, great baptism, and they say, oh man, hallelujah, I'm saved. That's all that, no, that ain't all you got to do. That's just to get you into the body. Then once you get into the body, now you got to learn of Christ's ways. And when you come into the body, uh, Peter talked about a newborn babe. You got to learn why you are a member of the Church of Christ. Okay? So you just go down in the water, get baptized. Now you got to learn how to change your life. And you can't do it on your own. You got to let God's word. This got to help start to change you. If you're a liar, God's word going to help you start taking that. Stuff out of your mouth. If you're a whole mama, you're gonna help you take that out of your life. If you're a man that like to chase women, God's word gonna help you to take that out of your life. If you're a gamble, or if you're homosexual, or lesbian, or whatever you is, if you're coming to the Lord the right way, God gonna help you move that junk out of your life because you're gonna see that it's not of God's plan. So that's why. We in the church of Christ, we love to take our time, and we're not here to belittle anyone. All thing we have to do is to pray the good news of Jesus. And then once you come into the church and start to learn on the Lord's way, this is where we start to learn how to be faithful unto death. And one way that we start to learn to be faithful unto death, we got to do what Hebrew 10, 25 said when we come into the church, what that said. Not to seek the assembly of ourselves together, but we must come to admonish and to encourage one another. So that's why, in Milton Church of Christ, we got to learn the importance of coming to the body of Christ. And before I go, and if you're a member of the body of Christ, the Church of Christ, and you have gone astray, come on back home. Come on back home. Because there's peace, there's love, there's happiness in Christ. Jesus said, Come unto me. All of you that did the little, and I will give you rest. Now, I want to thank you for the time that we had together. And remember, hallelujah, if you are interested and want to learn anything about the Church of Christ, look in your telephone book or, or go on a YouTube page. They got all this good stuff now you can get in contact with someone from the Church of Christ. Get in contact with someone and say, hey, I want to learn more about the Church of Christ. Now, I encourage you, do not obey the gospel until you understand it. Let me say that again. Don't come into the obey the gospel of how most of understand what you're doing. And then you come into the body of Christ. We love you in the church of Christ. And until you go be your time, come on and be with us. Amen.